Hi, we were a part of the entrepreneurship programs in year seven in years 21, 2021 and 2022 at Riverside Girls. Um, we're currently in the test staff room, sitting around their little kitchen table, talking about our experiences with the Pitch Fest. I'm Isabel, this is Sophie, this is Logan, and we work together to innovate a product built around the idea of fathers and the period world. Um, so in our experiences with this Pitch Fest, um, there was a long process that was involved, but um, something that we could have done better in our pitch, I feel, was um, actually um, seeking like fathers like single fathers in the world and asking them about uh, reviews on our product. When we did our survey, it was targeted towards just fathers, which wasn't really our target audience. So um, we feel that if we had included something about single fathers and their reviews on our product and their, um, what's it called? I don't um, really know. Inputs but kind of. Like their inputs and that would really helped our pitch and sort of strengthened it. So it was like really hard for us to come up with a solid idea, um, but um, and like we every class we would fall through like heaps of loopholes. But I think it was really worth it in the end because we came up with quite a good idea that could help people in the real world. Hi. Hi, um, I'm Gabby. This is Harper. This is Ingrid, and we created an app as our product. It was called Climate Over Carbon, and it tracked your car and bus usage and it recorded the amount of carbon that you're letting out each time you drive your car or catch the bus. So during the process, we, like the other group, we went through a very, very long process that had a lot of loopholes and different problems that came up throughout the process that changed our idea and you know adapted it to meet certain needs. It was, honestly, it was a quite a fun thing to do. And it, I think although the process was extremely long and extremely, you know, thorough. Huh? thorough. Yeah, thorough and particular. It really shaped our idea and helped us come up with a very good pitch. Yeah, um, what I think was like what worked really well in the design process was surveying our class because they were the target audience, which are like teens in Australia. So I think getting um, like input and getting like feedback from the target audience worked really well. Yeah, um, I think we really enjoyed like making a prototype and designing what we thought the app would look like and showing everyone what we put to use using things like Canva and finding colours that match our like app design. And I think it was really a good experience to see how it would be to actually design a real app and finding a ways that we could make it appeal to people and just things like that. Um, I'm Grace, this is Amy, and that's Katrina. Um, we were we did this in COVID, so we were basically the guinea pigs of the whole project. Um, but we made a water powered portable charger. Uh, yeah, and we're Aqua Electron. Um, I think what we most enjoyed is when we got to like actually like prototype and create our products, like on Tinkercad and sketching it, because it really helped like our engagement and visualization of like what we were going to do and it helped us like plan out like how it was gonna work and stuff like that. Um, and I think that overall, the process was a little tedious, but it was really, really fun. Um, and I think to go further, we could have like, if we had more, I guess, access to like different resources that we don't have at school, um, that would have been really helpful. And just being able to talk with like more experts in the field and being able to, I guess, expand our knowledge on our product, it would have also been really helpful. Okay. Thank you, girls. Just, uh, if you all wanted a wave. Okay. Um, yep, coming on this side. 